All right, let's see how good this really is. It's new Ruby up going second. Classic, classic going second. All right. Um. Oh, oh my God. Okay. All right. So we'll keep the scuttle. Opening C. All right, we got a pop skull. I feel a lot better about this hand. Feel a lot better about this hand. Uh, a um. A fishbone quill would help. A fishbone quill would definitely help. Oh, we're going up against musketeers. All right, so we kind of stick to the regular plan here. Get out popsicle. See, now I wish I kept the one jump ahead. Won't be surprised if we get a big queen here. Um, Fishbone Quill would be nice, but we have our typical, obviously this guy is super helpful. And Scuttle is definitely super helpful. Dime is good. This, this card, oh my gosh. You want to talk about a card that jumped up in price. What, like, at 10 at night, I saw this card at like $10, and then literally the next morning at like 6 a.m., it was 30 which is absolutely, absolutely insane. Ah, uh, it's gonna be one of those. Um, okay. We're definitely not going to take into account that you're out of time. Oh my gosh. I'm just better, what can I say? I think our opponent left the, oh no, no, hang on. Okay, they're alive, they are alive. I don't know what we're dealing with here. Uh, sure. That's fine. Not too worried about that. Because we do have Fishbone Quill. I think we have to show restraint in that department. Let's just Quill. Um, I'm actually gonna Quill the Dime. Play a Popsicle. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have two. So we have two. I wonder what this deck is trying to do here. Ah. Sure. That is perfectly fine. An ice block would be wonder. Um, that also works. That also works. But we're gonna kind of stay. Yeah, let's just ink this. Um. Oh well, ask and you shall receive. Um. Funny enough, I think we get rid of this one Sisu. We'll play the ice block. And pass. Next turn. So pro so I think what we do, problem is if I had another ice block, I could bring the queen down to two. We'll just we'll just be patient. You have to be patient with this deck. Let things kind of develop on their own. You know, we still have this Maui, which is helpful. They're just going to quest out. They might have something big they can play here. Pluto. Um. You know what? 
Well, first things first. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. We're not going to get this Sisu out yet. Let's ink this. Let's play another ice block. We'll ice block the queen twice. And we'll brawl the queen out of here. Now let's play this Sisu. And get the Pluto out of here. And then next turn... Actually, I'm gonna ink this Be Prepared. Next turn, we can get the big Sisu play. Because it looks like they have a lot of low-cost characters that this can just wipe out. Yeah. Yeah, we can just we can just deal with this next turn. Strength of a raging fire. So they're gonna get rid of this Sisu, so we can't shift. That's okay. Yeah, they're they're not gonna like what happens next. Another ice block. Funny. Alright. We'll play it and say goodbye to their board. Boom. Go ahead and quest the Hiram. Get rid of one of the ice blocks to draw two. This puts them in a pretty difficult situation. Let's go ahead and ink that. Play another block. Pass. Yeah, this puts them in a pretty difficult scenario here. Man, this card is insane. All right, they're gonna get the Pluto back. Another one jump, huh? All right. Let's quest. Draw two. Brawl, okay, so this is where Ice Block is crazy. So we'll just Ice Block the Pongo. Play Brawl to get rid of it. That feels so wrong. Oh, and we got a Madam Mim too, awesome. I'll take to develop your brain. Um, yeah, we'll take the dime. And we'll quest. And we're looking pretty good right now. Because we, we have an answer like this. The ice block is crazy for reasons like that, because it works so well with Madame Medusa. It works so well with Brawl, it works so well with Sisu. Yeah. All right. Jeez, I drew three of this in a row. Uh, let's just Madame Medusa. Quest with Hiram. Draw two. We can play the dime this turn, I think. If we draw something inkable. Yeah. Do that. And we have Ariel, which is super helpful. Boom. And let's just quest out, and we should be able to kind of take the game from here. Can't imagine they have anything... ...too crazy that'll mess us up. Yeah. I guess I'll just quest for two. Yeah, and we're just gonna take that one. Oh my gosh, Sisu is insane. All right. Oh, another another Amber Steel deck, and we're going second again. Pixelborn's favorite thing is making me go second. Oh my gosh, we drew Sisu again. Okay. Um, 
I feel like whenever I draw this, it changes my plans completely. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just, it, you just have to be good. That's all you have to be is good. That's all you have to do is be good. Pegs are born the chef. All right, let's see what you, let's see what you got for us. Okay, so it's probably a steel song, I assume. Yeah, we have a Cinderella. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Medusa off the draw. So what's nice about this deck, I'm pretty sure it has a lot of low attack characters. So this, this can be a problem and we can get this out pretty quickly now that we have the quill. Thinking Moana. Ah, uh, we're fluting. Okay. Ooh, that's actually good. But I'm actually going to one jump ahead to really get kind of the ramp going. Next turn, we'll play Fishbone Quill. We'll probably just ink scuttle, play fishbone quill. Or no, we might have something else to ink. Ariel, okay. Yeah, like this, this can be pretty dealt with. They'll sing, they'll get one from the flute. Whole new world is our enemy though. Whole new world could mess stuff up. So we have to kind of play around that a little bit. Oh, perfect. We'll just do that. Ink Scuttle. Play a Fishbone. Use Fishbone. We're going to get rid of the block. Play Scuttle. Let's just get a Popsicle back. And pray they don't have Whole New World. They very well might. Because right now this setup is looking pretty good. Things have gone my way so far. A whole new world. It doesn't like completely screw me. Oh, okay. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Put the storm rage on, that's fine. We'll play the cantrip. Be our guest, get a draw. Actually, kind of okay with how this is going. See if they get a whole new world. Oh, wait, no, they won't get it. Big Ariel changes things. Big Ariel changes things. So, what we do... We play a Popsicle. Let's ink this. What does this do? Whenever this guy requests chosen point reason and this goes to non capped card or choice, Oh, that's fine. We're still getting rid of the aerial. That is perfectly okay. Um, this might be risky. But if they have whole new world, we'll get a new... So next turn, we can play Sisu. And kind of mess them up here. They'd have to hard play whole new world. We don't have a non. Yeah. 
Really curious what they do. They're playing the aerial. They had got and along came Zeus, but that's okay. All right, Maui. Let's go ahead and play the Sisu, clear their board. And let's just pass. So they're probably going to along came Zeus the Sisu. Getting rid of the Hiram hurt, but that felt worth it. All right, they're on. Interesting, they're inking that aerial. Unless they have another one. Along came Zeus, yeah. Okay. Another flute. So this is where things can get tricky. Are the flutes. Brawl. Doesn't help me that much. Okay. So we can get rid of the aerial with... Madame Medusa. Yeah, this is where losing the Hiram hurts because we lost a draw engine. Yeah, they don't get any. Again, we have to be patient. We have to be patient. Let's play the Medusa and get rid of the Ariel. I want to keep their board under control first. I need a Hiram or another Popsicle. I need more draw. Okay. Let's just play the Ice Block. Let's play this Ariel. We can start making things happen. This is this is the challenge challenge you'll run into with this deck is if you don't get your draw engine, you know, it can be rough, but like I don't know, clearing the board at that time felt worth it. They sold that once the look uh, look at our family song in their hand. So they can they can fire that off. See that they get a song. Nope, another Mulan. Inking bare necessities. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Um. Brawl is nice. So we're going to ice block the Mulan and play Brawl to get rid of it. To kind of put them behind a bit. Let's go ahead and quest for five. Quest for one. A dime would be so clutch. Playing the other Mulan. And a Cinderella. Be prepared. No, let's just keep pushing. I know they have the big Cinderella. I wonder if they'll challenge the Ariel. Yeah. Wonder what they're going to do here. Oh! Okay, that might help us. Are they gonna play it? They played it. Okay, so... Really important here. If they challenge the aerial... If they quest out here... We win because we have the dime. So I really wonder how they're going to go. No, okay.
Interesting. Be our guest. Yeah, challenging the aerial was the right move for sure. So we're going to have to deal with that. Um, question is, how do we want to deal with this? Let's ink grandma. Spend one for develop your brain. We'll get a popsicle. We'll one jump. Play the popsicle. Let's get rid of the Mulan. Get rid of the Cinderella. Pass. We have another Maleficent Dragon. Unless they have Whole New World here, which is possible. Okay. We can deal with that. Grab your sword. Makes sense. Makes the flutes live. So a Maleficent Dragon here. Get rid of the Cinderella. Um, pray to God they don't have a song and, a, and another flute. Oh God. Both my dimes are gone. Do they have the third flute? I... No, they don't. Wow. Oh, we're gonna take this one by skin of our teeth. Whoo! All right. Well played. All right. Emerald Ruby. All right, let's try not to lose a draw engine this time. Okay, the block. Three. We'll keep the ice block. Oh, we got a second ice block. What is this hand? Good Lord. Oh, now we go first with the crappy hand. Guess it's not that bad. We can play Scuttle. Now he's fish hook, huh? Curse Merfolk. Oh, all right. This hand just got a lot better. And this hand just got a lot better. The Merfolk is annoying, but I'm not. I'm down to challenge it and discard the be prepared just to get it off the board. Ursula. Well, we're losing the be prepared. We're losing our discard fodder. That's annoying. Oh my gosh, another block. Are you serious? I have nothing I can ink. Is this really what we're doing? I 
had no inkable cards. Seriously? Yeah, I hope our Hiram can make something happen. Well, first, we need to draw something inkable. All right, well, we got something inkable. That actually helps me immensely. That actually helps me immensely. Now we're cooking with some gas. Now we're... Oh my gosh. All right, well... Now we're kind of making stuff happen. Losing the fishbone quill is a terrible feeling, though. Tinkerbell. All right, Tinkerbell makes things a little more difficult, but if we can just hang in there and make them kind of overextend. And then... Another Sisu. I'm actually... Um... Actually, that's helpful. That's actually very helpful. Play another... That is also helpful. Alright, those draws off of Develop Your Brain were actually very good. So we have both Sisus in our hand. Two ice blocks left. Say so there, I don't see much card draw. All right, they're kind of... It's okay, we can take care of the Cursed Merfolk with small Sisu. We can ink him. See what we get. Sisu, get rid of the Cursed Merfolk. Popsicle. Grandma, pass. All right, next turn we can play Big Sisu. And kind of wipe their board here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be lovely. That's fine. There's Fishbone Quill. Ink this. Go ahead. Shift. Clear your board. Goodbye. Quest. Draw two. Quest for three. We'll just pass. We have another Sisu we can play next turn. Well, we can ice block that away, actually. Which is pretty funny. Yeah, we'll ice block this. Play this Sisu. Get that out of here. I'll quest. Well, I'm actually going to sing one jump with Hiram and just pass. I'm not really worried about Ursula's Garden. We have this Maui. We have plenty of removal. You know, we do have to look out for stuff like Be Prepared. Prince Eric. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna play Maui. Get the popsicle back. Play popsicle. Just sing one jump. I'll ink the fishbone quill. We'll just quest for six. We'll pass. Looking pretty good for us right now. Yeah, I don't think they have much that can uh, deal with this. So they'll challenge the Isu with the Prince Eric to banish him, and they'll use that effect to banish the Tamatoa. Yeah. Yeah, imagine the Tamatoa is not long of this earth. Or the other Sisu. That's fine, too. Inking Flynn. And I think we're going to take this game home. Yeah. Madame Medusa. Get that out of here. And let's go. There we go. Boy, um... This deck is... Oh... We'll see how the meta develops, but man, this deck is definitely a contender. Sisu, cards like Sisu, big and small Sisu, Brawl, um, make a huge world of difference for this deck. Sisu is like a be prepared on, on legs. The ice blocks are way better than I think I first gave them credit for. They just open up so much like removal options, but... Man, this deck, uh, this deck is something.